A bill that would raise the standards for police use of force has been put on hold. Sacramento Bureau reporter Ashley Zavala explains why. No changes are coming this legislative session for the law that allows California police officers to use deadly force when they feel their lives are threatened. That was a little disheartening after the hard work and, and the commitment from so many individuals. Initially, the bill garnered a lot of attention after the death of Stefan Clark, who was shot by Sacramento police during a foot chase. But the bill stalled in the Senate. Senate President Pro Tem Tony Atkins said there wasn't enough time left in the session to address some of the concerns with the bill and get it passed between the two legislative branches. The California Peace Officers Association and several other law enforcement groups had issues with the bill. Some of the language alluded to um, using time distance communication and other tactics for de-escalation, but it didn't define what those were. And so some of the thoughts were is that an officer, if an officer was engaged in a situation where uh, it led to lethal force being used, that they may be hesitant or second-guessing themselves as to, am I going to get sued over this? Lawmakers and law enforcement say they'll continue to work on the bill this fall. We want to make sure that those who are working with us truly understand what the, what the standards are, so that if we need to define it much more uh, specifically, we'll do that. Looking at the issues of criminality, which people have raised, making sure that what we're doing actually fits within the law, and ensuring that, uh, that it really does work to change the culture of policing in California. Legislators vow to have a bill ready by January. And Ashley Zavala now joining us outside the state capitol in Sacramento. Ashley, you mentioned time. There just doesn't seem to be enough of it when we're talking about so many bills, so many interests, legislators getting pulled in every which way direction. How long have they been working on this particular bill? That's right, Evan. Just about a month, this committee was actually formed. Well, it was announced uh, in early July, but didn't actually form and meet until July 23rd, giving them about five weeks, about a month, to really get this done. One of the first assignments I tried to cover was actually one of the Senate Bill 901 meetings to address the wildfire prevention, but it was canceled. And then a couple days later, I tried to cover it again, and it was canceled again. They really did not start meeting consistently until this week, Monday and Tuesday, and then uh, Friday day before that. So yeah, they have not had a lot of time to get this done. And obviously this is not just in a fishbowl. I mean, there are hundreds of bills going on this past week that they've been looking at these legislators. I mentioned getting pulled in every which way direction. Uh, you're obviously a, a, a new face for us here on Sunday Morning Matters and on KC24. So welcome to Sacramento. First of all, how was your first experience with this end of session madness that they deal with up there? <laughs> Oh, thanks so much. Yeah, the end of session madness. It reminds me of kind of being at a college library during finals. Everyone's here late at night. They're all crammed. Uh, some of the leaders of each chamber trying to get everyone's attention so they stay on track. Uh, so yeah, it's been a, it's been pretty chaotic. We've been doing a great job. We look forward to more reporting right here on our program. Thanks so much. Ashley Zavala, she's at the state capitol for us this week. We'll talk to you again soon. And coming up, we've not seen the details, but many Valley growers are feeling optimistic about a new trade agreement with America's neighbors. How optimistic should they be? Our panel will join us next.